Hello everyone, this is another video about WAF bypassing, but the bypass this time is automated. And the payload used in this bypass is an error-based payload, and it was formulated to bypass both Cloudflare and FortiGate WAF. This is the script that will automate the payload. I will leave uh, the link in a comment. The script is easy to use. The first argument is uh, the target link. If your target injection requires a single quote, you have to put a single quote here. This is not uh, my case, so I will remove it. The second argument is what you want to extract. Of course, I want to see table names and column names. So I type table name, comma, column name. The third argument is from where you want to extract. Of course, I will extract them from information schema that columns. It will extract table names and column names. After extracting table names and column names, uh, I will extract uh, some columns from table users and I will explain to you why it behaves like this with some rows. Uh, I will extract uh, uname, pass, and phone. Type uni uni as from from table users. And as you can see, this is the username and and the password some random data. You can also see the output of some functions like users database. You need to put her uh, an exist table. You can leave it user but I put information schema that columns it's better if you uh, if you don't know the tables the table names you can see this is uh, the output of the of the user function uh, about this behavior in error based the output is limited the error can't show more than 32 characters, I think. That's why uh, sometimes uh, the, the, extracted, the extracted string is incomplete, like this. So when uh, the extracted shards characters are less than the actual uh, length, of the string, the script uh, switch the payload to another payload that extracts uh, the rest of the string character by character in order to complete it.